Disney expected The Lone Ranger to make similar box office numbers to the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. The film plummeted at the box office and wasn't well received by either critics or audiences. The Lone Ranger cost a whopping $375 million to make after marketing and only managed to gross $260 million resulting in a huge $105 million loss for Disney. Maybe it was due to the long runtime and negative word of mouth, but Johnny Depp alone should have made the film at least a moderate hit. It were a huge gamble for Disney to base a film off a of theme park land, so I'm not surprised that general audiences who haven't been to the parks had no interest in Tomorrowland. I personally skipped Tomorrowland in theatres, but watched it once the film become available on streaming and was shocked to the extent that I enjoyed the film. Maybe it was due to low expectations, but as a huge fan of the Disney parks, I loved the film and its references to park rides. Unfortunately though, the film only grossed a total of $120 million against a whopping $330 million budget, resulting in Tomorrowland being one of the biggest flops of 2015. The Black Cauldron came out during Disney's Dark Ages when many of their animated films were underperforming at the box office. At the time, it was the most expensive animated film to ever be made, having a $44 million budget, but only managed to accumulate $21.3 million at the box office. I loved that Disney were willing to take risks making one of the darkest animated movies of all time but I presume that many parents refused to take their kids to see The Black Cauldron due to its extremely dark tone and characters. John Carter, previously titled John Carter of Mars, is one of Andrew Stanton's only live-action films to date. Stanton had previously directed smash hits for Pixar, including Finding Nemo and Wally, but didn't manage to create a live-action film with a four-quadrant appeal. The film only managed to make $200 million against a $300 million budget, but on the flip side, it did receive relatively positive reviews. As Finding Nemo is my favourite movie of all time, I'm naturally interested in anything Andrew Stanton directs. But unfortunately, it looks like he won't be given another live-action film after how poorly John Carter performed at the box office. He did, however, do a fantastic job at directing a couple of Stranger Things episodes for Netflix. Mars Needs Mums is one of the biggest box office bombs of all time. The film came out at a time when motion capture films just weren't making the same money as they once were. Mars Needs Mums was a weird concept to sell to general audiences and the trailers just looked creepy so I'm not surprised that the film only made $39 million against a $150 million budget. Not only was Mars Needs Mums a box office disaster, it caused Disney to shut down Image Movies Digital and Disney have not made a motion capture movie since. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to let me know if you enjoyed any of the films on this list in the comment section below.